for, like you said, for six months. My money from that launch. I was so excited at how much money we made in 24 freaking hours. I'm like, yo, I'm about to moonwalk on a suitcase of money. <laughs> and and they they held it. PayPal held it. It's like they double teamed me because I got half of the payments in PayPal and I got the other half in Stripe. And both of them, oh, well, even worse, Stripe sent everybody a refund. All right, if you have a business and you need customized solutions and support that is off the charts for your business when it comes to collecting payments, credit cards, debit cards, any of that extra goodness, then this is an interview that is set up to blow your mind. If you're an affiliate looking to make more money, then what if you could get paid a percentage of transaction fees every single time someone swipes a credit card, makes a payment online, or, or, or goes to the ATM, or cheats with their wife at the hotel that nobody knows about on the other side of town? Well, <laughs> I have a guy for you today who's going to explain everything not the cheating part but the how to be an affiliate and make a lot of money right through uh you know payments or how to set up your merchant account and why you should go through pay uh payment cloud all right go ahead and introduce yourself sir how you doing guys i'm nate wilkie i'm with payment cloud i've been a dedicated account manager here for about two years but in the financial space as a whole for the last five and really just love coming into work every day and ultimately helping people in their businesses grow Awesome. Awesome. Cool. 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 So that was pretty quick. He's like punch, punch, jab straight to the point with it. But we're going we're gonna to get him. We're going to loosen up on here, guys. Um, Listen, I, the questions that I'm going to uh, ask him is they're designed to, in, you know, intentionally designed to get you to either become a merchant that gets a merchant account with payment cloud. I'm just being honest with you guys. I, you know, I could have brought on pay kings. I could have brought on uh, what's the other thing on people. Uh, um, uh, easy pay direct, any of those guys. But in my research and looking in the background of these guys, payment cloud is the best solution for you guys. I'm not going to introduce you to anybody that is not the best solution in my honest opinion, through experience and research diligence. Okay. All right. Now for the affiliates watching this guys, uh, a lot of you guys want to know how can you make more money without having to be so salesy? What can you offer that is already needed for every single business or entrepreneur. Well, a way to collect payments. I mean, why not? That's 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 pretty much one of the best things. And on top of that, you're going to be able to get paid a uh, recurring uh, income, but we'll get into that. So we're gonna get straight into the questions. The first five questions, guys, are for the potential merchants. And then make sure you watch this all the way to the end because the last five will be uh, uh, their structure for you guys waiting for the money opportunity. And you can be a merchant that makes money off of this too. Okay. So now <laughs> I talk a lot, Nathan, man. All right. Yeah, so you're good. You're good. For the potential merchants, Nathan, how do you tailor your payment processing solutions to meet the unique needs of different types of businesses? Yeah, that, that's a good question. So, so first and foremost, I think is just getting to know the business, the business owner, and ultimately how they want to take payments. I mean, that's imperative from the start. And then from there, we have tons of different banking solutions, and we just kind of put the pieces in place. So different banks will specialize in different things. And by getting to know the merchant's specific needs, we can match them up with that solution. So we have things along the lines of integration into QuickBooks accounting, e-checks, chargeback mitigation, mm. I mean, the list goes on. At the end of the day, if we don't have a solution directly, there's a really good chance that we have an industry leading partner that does have that solution. Nice. That's bars right there, y'all. That's bars. Okay. So, okay. So we have people on here that are low risk, uh, you know, regular, and then high risk. Well, I know that's not on the, the questions, but when you, when we just asked that question, it made me think, why didn't I put that on there? Like, do you have <laughs> solutions for people that are in high risk industry? Yeah, absolutely. We actually specialize in high risk in e-commerce. Um, we definitely don't shy away from anything that's low risk by any means. You know, <laughs> we can get that done pretty simple. But our bread and butter in the industry yeah. and our niche, really that that high risk space in the e-commerce world. Well, so as you guys can see, like, I, you know, I pretty much know the answers to a lot of these, <laughs> but you watching, you don't know the answers. So he's going to answer them and hopefully it satisfies any curiosities, skepticisms or insecurities about making moves today. Because, listen, PayPal sucks. If you've been an entrepreneur for any amount of time, if you're not still bringing out the pacifier from your mouth and you have matured in business, you know that PayPal, Stripe, all of those is not where it's at unless you're some titan of some type of industry or something, right? 
It's, it's just not good. Um, you know, David, I'm, I'm going to add to that, too. Um, what are the big advantages going with us as opposed to PayPal, Stripe, Square, any of those big names? They are what's called an aggregator. And what that essentially means is they board everybody up front, regardless of circumstances, regardless of whether that industry is barred from their platform. And then they audit everybody on the back end. And what happens <laughs> oftentimes is, you know, you run five, ten, fifteen thousand dollars and now that money sits in limbo for up to six months while Stripe terminates your account. And now you're back to square one, finding another account, all while your money's holding, you can't operate your business. See this so man right here. They're, they're, they're great platforms. They've got great UI and capabilities, mm -hmm. uh, but their customer service on the back end. Uh, lacks so he, he, just, he just read at least 75% of this audience's life. <laughs> <laughs> At least seventy five percent of your experience has been that. Now, I'm not talking to the a lot of the newbies. A lot of y'all are just getting fifteen dollar payments or something through PayPal or something. They're probably not going to bother you. Right. But for experienced people like me and a percentage of you guys, or anybody with a bigger business or something, somebody that takes high ticket payments or something, or you do coaching or anything like that, I did a launch in 2020. And that was the last time I did a launch on freaking PayPal. Ever since then, you guys know I've been collecting payments in a whole bunch of different ways, right? Um, for Like he said, for six months, 180 days, my money from that launch, I was so excited at how much money we made in 24 freaking hours. I'm like, yo, I'm about to moonwalk on a suitcase of money. <laughs> and and they they held it. PayPal held it. It's like they double teamed me because I got half of the payments in PayPal and I got the other half in Stripe and both of them. Oh, well, even worse, Stripe sent everybody a refund after holding it for a minute. And then PayPal just held it for 180 days. And after uh, since my since my actual bank in America was connected to that, it did a ripple effect to my to my bank there. And my American bank account shut like it, they locked me out and shut me down. Like it, like I was doing something freaking fraudulent or something. I, yo, no more, no more. You hear me? I will, I will collect. Yo, okay. So this is why we're bringing Payment Cloud on here now, so you guys can deal with that stuff no more. Okay. So let's move on to the next question. What makes your payment process and fees competitive, and how can businesses save money by using Payment Cloud? Yeah, absolutely. So, so bottom line is we just have a ton of different banking solutions. And as I mentioned previously, different banks will have a different appetite for different business types. And so by getting to know that individual business and then matching them up and pairing them with the correct solution, oftentimes banks are willing to bend their will and say, hey, we love this industry. We love this business. You know, we're more than willing to cut our margins to have this business on board. And that's really what you get when you go with somebody who has all these relationships within the industry and can match you up with the right place from the jump rather than having 12 places pull your credit and you're still looking for a solution. As y'all can see, he just dropped some bombs right there. He said partnerships. Listen, as y'all see, I'm making a lot of these connections out here. Why? Because it's certain things I can't help you with. It's certain things, it's certain things you're going to ask me and I don't have a solution for or an answer for. But since I care about you guys, I'm going to go out and find the people that do. And, and it's an extension of that with this guy right here. He said, whatever payment cloud does not have on deck they're going to be able to help you with because of their partnerships. Now, when you're dealing with other companies, a lot of them are selfish. And if they can't help you, they just don't want anybody to help you because they only want their brand to grow. They don't care about whether or not you're going to succeed with what you're stuck on. Um, so this is another reason why we have Nathan on here today. Um, all right. So next question is, can you describe the process of integrating your payment system um, with existing business operations? Also, how how user friendly is it for both business owners and customers as well? Yeah, so we have a, a ton of different gateways uh, available at our disposal. The majority of them connect through API integration. And I know that sounds big and scary, <laughs> but really it's just copying and pasting a line of code into your website. You know, and we've got an entire deployment staff, you know, on our team ready to go. If you ever need help, a lot of them are well versed in this because they've worked with, you know, Shopify, they've integrated into there, they've integrated into WooCommerce, uh, you know, you name it. If there's a platform that we haven't heard of, we're willing to take the time to research it and say, give you a firm answer. Yes, we can integrate with this. Let's move forward. Or no, we really don't have a good solution. And once again, that's key. It saves you so much time, you know, as opposed to running around trying to find that perfect solution. Exactly. One of the things that uh, uh, made me shy away from getting custom gateways and stuff in the past and trying to reach out for that stuff is this, this one company. I can't remember. It starts with a V. V or v, v something. I don't know. Um, 
I got approved for them. But when it came to the implementation of like how I can get it on, on my website and in the support type situations and stuff, they were not where I was at. Like I was pretty much like stuck. Like I didn't know what to do, <laughs> how to connect anything. So if y'all are, you know, paying attention, pattern interrupt, wake up, uh, <laughs> pay attention. Don't be looking at your phone down on this side or any of this. Your money is at stake right here. OK, um, they're going to help you all, man. I know you're used to like PayPal and Stripe, but uh, with that convenience comes a lot of issues. When when those companies get that big, a lot of the, you know, the customer, you know, stuff with the exception of Amazon, <laughs> a lot of the customer stuff to the bigger companies don't really work. They're just paying attention to like inner operations type stuff. But with payment cloud is is more tailored to your experience. They're not just thinking about themselves. Um, OK, so let's see what what kind of ongoing support so like even after like it's set up and everything what kind of ongoing support do you offer to the merchants and like like how do you ensure the reliability and uptime of the payment processing services yeah absolutely so obviously david anybody you send on over to me works with me directly they're going to get great support you know i'm always in the office somewhat of a workaholic if you will so <laughs> they can always get a hold of me um in worst case scenario you know you catch me on a holiday or out to dinner with my wife or whatever most of our partners and our processors have 24 seven customer support on staff. They're based here in the U S um, and they're well-versed and knowledgeable to, to handle your questions. Bars. Okay. That's, that's where I was at. That's good. That's good. See, that's mainly what, what people uh, are hung up on when it comes to making a decision, when it comes to buying something, uh, when it comes to taking action with a course or a book or, or any type of uh, thing that they've never uh, went forth to do before. It's always the issue of, OK, after I pay or after I set this up, what then? Like if I have a problem, will somebody be there to help me with it and stuff like that? So as you all can see, man, it's 24 hours support, man. If he's not on point, then somebody else will be on point to be able to, you know, help you guys and everything like that. But I deal with him directly uh, and I've never had any issues since I met him. So you guys going through me. um, uh, to get with him and then you going through him to deal with the company and and so on and so forth happily ever after and all of those type of things uh the good thing is that you won't have to go through this over and over and over because i've made like five to ten freaking paypal accounts some of them i probably have money in and don't even remember them just because the problems will happen like they'll change something and then uh, like they'll change do a policy change and an account that was verified and cool for years will all of a sudden not meet the the you know what their new situation is. And instead of them contacting you and telling you, yo, 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 hurry up, go in and fix this, fix that or something. They'll just eliminate that thing on account out of nowhere. Right. <laughs> and it's not like you're going to be able to get in contact with the people with PayPal. I'm not talking about just the forefronts. Uh, they're just going to read off a script and not really help you. I've argued with them for freaking hours. I almost became a lawyer just, just by dealing with PayPal. I'm like, Hey, according to your policy, you said this, this is like, yo, you know, so Man, don't deal with them anymore, guys. If you're an entrepreneur on here right now, uh, uh, that's brick and mortar or online. It doesn't matter, y'all. Deal with payment, uh, payment cloud. Okay, and if so, I could just echo something uh, yeah. that you said earlier, David, real quick, you know, that, that fear of the unknown is is strong. And I certainly understand that. But not only myself, the entire payment cloud staff is super knowledgeable. And we're willing to help you navigate any and every situation, you know, from startup to high level enterprise business. Hey, I've got this very specific niche problem and I need a very niche solution. We'll find it. For you. OK, cool, cool. So, man, we got to get a moment of silence. You hear me? <laughs> OK, all right. Let me stop playing because this is a serious matter, guys. We just don't want to be stuffy, but this is very serious. We're going into 2024. Now, a lot of you guys have launches. This is one of the things that made me nervous about doing launches. Until I decided to collect me, uh, payment by other means. But I started getting very nervous, even though I was making a lot of money with launches. I still was like, mm, I don't know if I want to do that method because getting a huge chunk of money at once. I might this, this, that, whatever gets locked up again and all of that extra stuff. Dog, don't y'all want to get rid of that fear? Right. Don't y'all want to get rid of that. OK, so you need a custom solution, man. Custom solution. If you're really serious about business, you cannot. Honestly, tell me you feel safe going hard this year, scaling up with 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 PayPal or Stripe. You just can't tell me that. Right. Um, OK, so let's let's get to the next one. Um, OK, well, that brings us to this. What features do you offer to help businesses scale effectively? Because sometimes we'll make this much. But if we have a launch, 
we might make a lot of money at that time. Yeah, absolutely. Um, but flexibility is key with any business, obviously. Our partnerships are, are not only numerous, robust, and various. Um, our partners work with, you know, F1, Cleveland Browns, to name a few, but they're also no stranger. <laughs> so, you know, th this versatility allows businesses to come in and grow organically while having that processor 24 7 support and a dedicated account manager wow. that is by their side to help them. Grow. Wow. So he just flexed on us with the Cleveland Browns. You hear me? <laughs> like he just name dropped. He just bow. You hear me? Like, hey, we not no little oaks over here. Okay. I got you. I got you. I see. <laughs> okay. So just for a send off for the, the, uh, the, the merchants watching this, uh, another name for that is just you guys that need payment solutions. Okay. If you don't get the terminology, if you need payment solutions, the custom payment gateway and all of that extra, let me ask, do you guys provide POS systems as well? Yeah, absolutely. We have POS systems. Um, there's certain POS systems that we can integrate with. So, for example, you know, if you're using Corona POS and you love your workflow with Corona POS, we have a solution that can integrate directly into that. That way your nice. workflow remains the same and your money nice. just moves through somewhere else more reliable. OK, so this is ballerina flexible. This is this is <laughs> gymnast flexible. This is low to the how low can you grow limbo flexible? OK, uh, <laughs> yeah, I hear it, man. This is this is good. OK, so now we're going to go for some of you guys to the main event all right um affiliates a lot of you guys that watch this channel uh you know have your businesses set up already but an extra income stream can be added too so for those of you who are merchants and stuff like that don't dip away thinking this does not apply to you it definitely applies to you as well if you've been trying to add more money you have you can open your rolodex you hear me and you can just look at the other business owners that are still collecting payments having problems the same way you are right now and they can be another income stream for you so sit your butt right here until the end of the movie credits all right now for the affiliates trying to make money all right like i always say this man like nothing is better than selling to someone once and then continuing to get money from that same person it's hard enough to get a yes one time. A lot of you guys have a business model where where you make a sale and that's it, right? And then you have to get another yes. And you already know how difficult it was to get the first one. Going into this, you can get a business owner to switch to Payment Cloud. And he's going to explain all, all of this stuff just in case I'm wrong about something, right? And yeah, absolutely. as long as they stay on through Payment Cloud, you're getting monthly uh, commissions for each business. Is that true, right? Correct. Okay, guys. So like how, Nathan, I don't know how much you know about like the internet marketing world or whatever, but it's like a million business models out there. It's like yeah. a million ways to make freaking money. This one is one of the most like obvious, but not widely known or practice business models of simply, you can, you can set up payments for businesses. Because it doesn't look salesy because it's something that they have to set up anyway. That's mandatory. You can't run a business without payments. So pitching this is is barely even a pitch unless they've been with a company for so many years or something like blah, blah, blah. But there's a lot of ways of getting into that, guys. Uh, uh, and, and then once it's set up, it's set up. You can you don't even uh, uh, I was talking to a guy uh, um, that runs a payment business. Uh, he's not a merchant or anything. He sets up the payment processors and POSs and gets the commissions and, and makes a living off of that. He said a lot of his clients he haven't talked to in like three to five years, <laughs> like three to five years. OK, a lot of you guys have clients that you have to check in with every night or they'll like cancel their services with you. <laughs> right? OK, so let's get to the first question of this uh, uh, with Nathan. OK, for the affiliates, what are the key benefits and incentives for joining your affiliate program and how does it stand out from others in the market? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, first and foremost, I do want to say I contact people more than once every three to five years. You know, I like to stay on top of that and <laughs> make sure everything's going smooth more than once every five years. Um, but but no, seriously, man, I, I think the ultimate goal for, for everybody um, and especially business owners is just financial freedom, you know, and yeah. there's not a lot of companies out there that will offer you that lifelong residual the same way we will. You know, a lot mm. of them will say, hey, we'll give you six months and then you got to find us another one or whatever the case may be. You know, and in, in this instance, if you want to build up 10 grand of residual every month and say, that's it. All I need is one hundred and twenty thousand dollars a year to live then you're good and you're set. You don't ever have to work a day in your life again, assuming those accounts stay open. 
Um, yes. So it's, it's really a beautiful thing to have that residual income compounding. Yes. Well. Yes. It is beautiful. Like it's beautiful. Like ah, I'm in Panama right now. And some of the women here aren't as beautiful <laughs> as this payment, like, like this model right here, like for real, I'm serious. It's, um, it's, it's very difficult to sell a lot of stuff to people, right? You know, um, so when you come across business models where a, a, a person or a company like literally has to do it, like they, they don't have to go with your company in particular, but it's, you're still in a, in a, in a business industry where like it's needed. It's, it's, it's not a luxury is what I'm saying. It's a necessity. It's not a luxury. A lot of people are selling luxury products and services like, ooh, it would be nice to have this. Right. Like I want a burger, but technically I can eat a leaf and survive. Right. So <laughs> there's luxury. But this is a necessity. Right. For any serious business. OK, so next up, um, can you provide any examples or estimates of the earning potential for uh, affiliates? including any like maybe like tiered commission structure type stuff. Yeah. So I, I don't want to dive too far into the particulars with this one. Um, Payment Cloud offers, like we said, a lifetime revenue share for all of its partners. Okay. Each partnership is taken individually and customized the same way our merchant accounts are. And we're reasonable, you know, we're willing to work with you. And if it makes sense for both parties and both parties growth, we'll, we'll happily bend our will, you know, but at the end of the day, growing that relationship is crucial on both ends. And if we can work mutually together to grow, then, like I said, we'll make accommodations to make sure you're happy in the relationship as well. OK, bars. OK, so when I was looking at this other company, I'm not going to drop their name or anything. Yeah. Um, I saw the it was 20 percent. OK, but it was like stuck at 20 percent. Then this other one was 10 percent and it was like just stuck there forever, like no matter how many locations the business gets or how much the earnings go or how good you make the relationship or anything, it's not customized. It's just the 10% or the 20% and that's it. So one of the things I like about what Nathan just said is, is like, you know, each situation is different. So, and then they'll work with you. So I'm pretty sure if you become like a rock star, guys, then they're not going to hold your head underwater. You hear me? So <laughs> that's the good thing about it. So you just get in as, as a referral. What do you call them? ISOs or referral agent? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So just get in right there, man. You guys, we have all the marketing information you can ever feast upon on this channel. If you want to know how to like promote this stuff to businesses and entrepreneurs, like you don't have any excuse like sign up as a referral partner, if not a merchant or both. I'm pretty, this channel is a mixture of both. Like, so, so you guys should be merchants and affiliates. Just, just going to put that out there. Okay. So what type of marketing uh, and promotional support do you offer to the affiliates? Like if they need help? Yeah. So uh, first and foremost, all, all of our partners get access to our partner training videos that we've accumulated over the years through our experience. Um, these videos are exclusive to the partnerships that that we have and we create. I don't know who came up with this number, but in all in all, it's about a $3,000 value if you were gonna go source this information elsewhere. So it's it's a great bang for your buck. Um, and then in addition, you know, case by case basis typically involves the marketing team, but in scenarios where our businesses align, we also have backlinks on our page to some of our partners to help, you know, boost their SEO rankings yeah. and, and with additional <laughs> revenue. Okay, okay, that's where it's at, that's where it's at. Okay, so now, um, how do the affi affiliates track their referrals and earnings? Like, uh, what tools do you have for that type of stuff? Yeah, great question. So, so transparency and communication is is obviously huge with any partnership. Uh, we have KPI reports that are available to all of our partners. Um, they're not necessarily real time, but they're dang close to real time. Okay. They allow you to track the number of leads you've submitted, um, the status that that lead is in, so whether it's been app, whether it's been approved, whatever the case may be. And then you can also track your rev share. You can set it up with biweekly or monthly reporting. You know, there's a ton of different options within this system that allow us to be super transparent with them. Nice, nice. Okay, okay. All right. So let's slam dunk this for the affiliates, Nathan. Okay. <laughs> Can you share any type of success story? You don't have to get name drop or anything like that of an individual or business owner who thrived as an affiliate for your company. Yeah. So I, unfortunately, due to privacy policies and, and anonymity, I can't disclose any actual names, like you said. Yeah. Um, but what I will say is that we've partnered with large enterprises, businesses and allowed them to grow and scale 
even though they were already massive in size prior to the partnership being formed. And then in addition, we've taken partners that have never referred a lead before, never worked in this space before, and brought them to a mid-sized ISO where they have affiliates underneath them and you know they have the financial freedom to make this their full-time job. So nice. just you know, speaking like I have with everything, we have tons of customization available here on our end and we're gonna do what makes sense for you. Man, okay. So listen, y'all, I know a lot of you guys are are, you know, driven and you don't need any fire lit up under your condonies. <laughs> but then there's an underworld, a dark side, right? <laughs> of of entrepreneurs that procrastinate or they're scared or, or they're, they just, you know, I'm gonna do it tomorrow. I'll do it. It'll be my New Year's resolution. Like, you know what God has in store. How you know you're going to make it to New Year's? But anyway, um, um, I don't want you guys to fall victim of yourselves. All right. So I'm going to tell you a story about two by guys. All right. One of them is <laughs> procrastination and the other one is hesitation. Right. And they're both the fathers of failure. You understand? So if you guys don't make a move, all right, you're going to grow. Like, you're, you're, you know, I, I would hope the best for you. But as you grow in your entrepreneurial journey, you're going to also run into the same crap that we ran into, uh, which is what leads us to getting customized payment solutions. If you're a merchant, make a move, please. OK, now, for those of you who are affiliates, I have something that will slam dunk this. Like, I believe in incentives. Let me share my screen. I believe in incentives. OK, that's how much I care about you. All right. So we are over here on the profit positioning agency site. All right. We have a few things. Now, I cannot give you any type of discounts on the market monopoly, the the, um, you know, the banking platform or the affiliate army. But what I can do is I can give you 50 percent off. If you sign up or not, if because we want to make your success like inevitable, like Smith from the Matrix says, right? Inevitable. Right. So we don't want if we're going to succeed or win. We want to know when you're going to win. Make it when you're going to win, not if you're going to win. So I'm going to give you 50 percent off of the affiliate army course. That way you can have an, once you sign up as a referral uh, agent or an iOS, I mean, ISO, like he was talking about, you'll know how to build an army of an affi of affiliates under yourself. You guys know I have my own affiliate army, right? Okay. Now that's that right there. And for those of you who do not know what this is, this book has been sold to many of you only versus best. And it breaks down the market monopolies and how to uh, dominate entire markets through profit positioning. I sold this book at 500 bucks without Amazon without Audible, without any of them, just through this site. And a lot of you guys have this book. I am going to make it to where you get this book for only 97 bucks, just by you signing up as a referral agent or an affiliate for Payment Cloud. Now, even if you guys don't want the bonuses, I still tell you guys to go ahead and sign up as a referral agent or as a merchant with Payment Cloud. I just wanted to sweeten the freaking pie. Let's toss in some some uh, <laughs> some stevia, some uh, uh, multidextrin. Let's <laughs> toss in some monk fruit sugar and all of that stuff. I just wanted to sweeten the pie because I know a lot of you guys are like, yeah, this is cool, man. And then watch the suggested video over there on the side of YouTube and keep watching videos. No, make a move, all right? Um, that's what I have. Nathan, did you want to say anything in closing? No, man. That's about all I got for you. Um, like I said, if you come my way, I'll take good care of you. I'm always available. Um, and we've got a very competitive meter beat rate program. So if you're a business that has experience and you have processing history and you're doing clean business, we'll happily beat the rate that you have right now. Bars. There you go. That was uh, I slam dunked it, but he just broke the glass. You, you know, he just broke the glass on on the backboard. You hear me, like Shaq style. You hear me? So, okay, guys, see you in the next one. Go ahead and take action. All the links will be in the description and in the first pinned comment. Say adios, uh, hasta luego to uh, to Nathan, guys.